back to merged phase, if that's okay. Yeah. There he is. So, uh, believe it or not, this is actually a deep fake. I mean, it's not fantastic, but uh, if I, I was about to say, on... it looks like you got like smacked in the face with a shovel, or you've become Mr. Bean. Like, that's yeah. Good. I mean, so what if I put on these glasses? It's not nearly as um, doesn't work as well. Doesn't work as well. And the idea is, this is a thing called active detection. So, with deep fake, let me swap back to uh, the mixed frame. More funny face to choose. <laughs> well, it's the one that works best. It, uh, it definitely, uh, I don't know anything about him other than that he's, uh, actually, British, I don't know anything. British. He's, he's, he's British. British. I know yeah. he's British and I know yeah. he was a comedian. But <laughs> the idea is that um, you need to be able to detect deep fakes. You can see like, what this is what Alex actually looks like on the left. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is what hey. Alex looks like with the deep fake on the right. right. So I can swap out if you want. Um, so let me try, uh, want me to, who do you want me to be next? I could be, uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah. Do Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. It is. Let's make it happen. So I'm downloading Jackie Chan right now. Uh, there I am. I can be the, the crazy thing about this is this is as good, as bad as it's ever going to be. You'll never see uh, someone doing it professionally, a worse deep fake than this. Wow. And so the really scary thing is someone got scammed out of uh, $25 million with a uh, much worse version of this. Really? Um, yeah. Like the cryptocurrency that. Instagram no, uh, ads? No, not a, not a cryptocurrency, a bank. Wow. A bank, a financial institution uh, lost $25 million to this, um, which, you know, uh, everyone thinks they're smart until they're not, right? Yeah, <laughs> well, but how can this help? Because you know you'd have to make people wear these glasses, or what do you mean? How is this? So, um, the idea, right, is you can have a like one of these, right? Which hopefully I'll be showing up in here one pretty soon. Can be detected pretty easily, right? So when I inevitably show up as Rob Doe on the, uh, which is I believe it says Rob Doe, but when I inevitably show up as uh, three, two, one, there we go as uh, Robert De Niro on the left, uh, <clears throat> this could be anyone. It only takes about five to 10 minutes of video to make a deep fake of, like, of this quality of you. Um, <clears throat> and if you're not paying attention, you're in the corner of the screen, you can pop into a meeting as somebody and they'll never know the difference. Um, but if like, um, let's say, I don't, how do I describe it? How does this help? And right now you can use a deep fake detector and it'll detect this deep fake. In fact, most people could probably tell that this is a deep fake. The lighting's not very good and um, you can probably tell. But as this gets better, you won't be able to tell. And the deep fake detector will be trained to make the deep fakes better. So you need something called active detection. And the best way to do active detection is to mess with the deep fake. So you have your artificial intelligence algorithm attack their artificial intelligence system and the way you i want to do that is with the deep fake headset and so this would move around back and forth left and right and this wouldn't this is obviously just a prototype but um as it gets more and more advanced you can start to um have your your algorithm attack theirs as opposed to just sort of uh, hoping to detect their algorithm so that's that's the idea behind it or those glasses, like you can make someone wear them in a business meeting to know that they're really them, or what? What are they like? So that... what you do is this would be part of the detection step. So you would never wear this during the meeting, but before you got into the meeting, you put not these on, but a, a more advanced version. It would detect if you're a deep fake or not, if you're a legitimate person, and if you are, it would let you into the meeting. If you're not, it just won't let you in. Awesome. So yeah, basically something that can you know, you can use as a physical tool that can't really be digitally hacked too easily because the mechanical process. Right. And so that's how it would work right now. But in the future, it be, it connects to the computer and you do all sorts of fancy stuff and you could be really pretty sure that that's not a person. That's a person on the other end. Um, wow. Are you familiar with like the large language models? Yeah, for sure. So one thing that's actually pretty interesting about them is next year, the 5090 is coming out. And the 5090 has 32 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, what that means uh, for large language models 
is they'll be able to almost catch up with uh, they'll be able to run on the on the on the 30 on the 50 90 and then you can run something like this on a smaller card uh along with a along with like a a, a voice changer like one of those text to speech things that are really good and then all of a sudden you have a full scammer for you know five or six thousand dollars and you know two or three bucks an hour or two or three bucks a day rather that can impersonate people and act like a person and go online and scam people. And that's pretty scary that that's going to be coming out, you know, next year or the year after. So we need a, a yeah. solution to that. And uh, you need a capture that actually is functional. Uh, most people can't pass the captures right now. And so you need a capture that the people can pass and the robots can't. And so that's what this is also meant to be. So any questions? Uh, so, so what are your thoughts on the deep fakes? I was just saying, man, I just thought it was muted. I was like, man, that's a cool idea. I love the idea of it. I think it's a very essential tool. Um, I, I see how, you know, it can be really hard right now for people to see the essentiality of what hasn't hit them yet. But right. I'm already seeing, like, I've had cousins who've had their Instagram hacked with, a, like, their own face with a different person saying, oh, yeah, I invested in Bitcoin. And it tricks like they have like a clientele. So it like convinced their client, some of their clientele to like invest in this thing. So it's, scam, it's like a viral scam. And there's more and more examples of these really realistic looking and people calling old people with the uh, voice changers pretending to be the, their son or their daughter. Right. Yeah. So I love you as Robert Downey Jr. That's actually my favorite. Can you do well, like, you. Just, can we do like a solo for a second? Like just, just the Robert. Yeah, just for a second, because it's just so good. <laughs> Thanks. It's actually... Um, I think it's your mannerisms actually helping. Oh, too. really? Let me yeah. see if I can put some light on it. Maybe it'll actually look proper. <laughs> That's horrifying. Now that looks like Unreal Engine. That much light, really. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too much if I go like this. Oh, I love but, it. But um, it's really scary. This is two-year-old tech. So the guy that built this was actually Russian. And then he stopped updating it two years ago, but I am it's the open source version, but I imagine he didn't stop updating it would be my guess. Right. Yeah. I'm sure like we see like military versions of this that are even better. And a lot of this technology is going into making photographs better. Samsung's doing this. So when it takes a picture of something, it trains on other pictures, fills in the missing data. Apple's new devices are designed to beautify you using uh, learning algorithms as well. Right. So, well Military is really scary with this. Imagine if you're like a soldier, right? And you're in a situation where you need to talk with your personnel, right? So you need to talk with your commanding officer and you call them. Um, what if that's not you? Right. Like, what do you, what, what happens next? Um, and so actually DARPA, uh, uh, I've been, DARPA actually asked for a study on this specific thing, asked me to conduct one. And so that's what's happening right now. Uh, we'll see if that ends up, uh, turning in anything it might not it might but i have the patent so if it ends up being something uh, i'm the guy to talk to that's epic yeah we're gonna have to use it for some evil good art as well we for should sure. definitely we should do i want to do a norm mcdonald seance and i feel like this might be the way to get do you want me to help that. you set up a uh set up, set this up on your computer what do oh you have? sure i got whatever mac windows linux whatever i need perfect, i got perfect. an nvidia 3070 in the that's TV. plenty yeah, and I also uh, have like some A1 and A. Uh, I'm gonna get an A3, but I have an A1 right now. An A1. Uh, I mean M1. M1. I'm sorry, the Apple. M1 chip. M1, oh, M1 chip. Yeah. Okay, oh, Apple yeah. chip. Yeah, it's actually really scary how little power you need to run this thing on. It's really starting to get pretty impressive. So, um, yeah. So that's 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 the product. Thanks so much for your time. Dude, that's great. I think, yeah, like we don't do very many 10 minute videos, but I think this is informative and awesome. So I hope more people, uh, if you, would you want people to be able to reach you out, uh, out or oh, for sure. Out? So the best way to reach me is realityanchor.com and you can get my, all my socials and all my contacts. Feel free to email me or uh, call me. I'll send that. I'll put that in the event. Yeah. It's, it should low. There we go. Oh, okay. With a dash. There we go. Okay. Got it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, uh, someone snagged the, uh, the one without the dash. So Those I think monsters. There's... I know, right? I, mean, I didn't end up doing anything with it. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the Tom Cruise one that went viral, and um, <clears throat> this is perfect. Yeah. yeah so everybody, and... if you want, you can go to realityanchor.com. And then you'll find my uh, my my links at the bottom. Just just yeah. go ahead and reach out to me. 
Yeah, Alex, man, I appreciate it. This oh, is for sure. Great. Thanks so much. Dude, see you soon. I Absolutely. mean, whoever you are. <laughs>